and we are in line 164. It says, seven times a day I praise you because of your, because of your righteous judgments. Powerful. Seven is a number of completion. And so he's saying that he's praising God seven times a day. Seven times a day. And then so because of your righteous judgments, because God's righteous justice, God is a God of justice, and his judgments are true and righteous. And we can't help but to praise God for judging us correctly. 165, great peace have those who love your law. Great peace have those who love your law. And we are walking in peace when we love God's law. We love God's teaching and instruction. We have peace. You know, they're trying to get peace in the Middle East. It's only going to come from... Uh, from the word of the Lord. Isaiah uh, 26.3. Uh, it says. You will keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stayed on you. Because he trusts in you. And we're going to have. Um, God's perfect peace. When our minds are stayed on God. And when we trust in God. Your mind is stayed on God and you're trusting in God. And it doesn't matter if someone gives you a death sentence. You keep your mind uh, stayed on God and trust in God. Keep your mind stayed on God and trust in God. And he's going to bring you through. He's going to bring you through. And so uh, then it says, then also sends it to Isaiah 32, 17. 3217 that says the work of the work of righteousness will be peace and the effect of righteousness quietness and assurance forever that's powerful right there the work of righteousness shall be peace make those right choices and the effect of uh of the righteousness quietness and assurance forever you don't have to say nothing and you can have that assurance when we trust in God. Wow. And we working in righteousness. Praise God. Okay, going back to Psalm 119. It says, Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing causes them to stumble. And when we have God's instruction, we have God's teaching, you can walk, and you don't even have to stumble. And even if you do have to do stumble, he could turn that stumble into a stepping stone. But right here is saying that nothing causes them to stumble. And you won't. If you if you walking in God's uh on the God's holy highway, you know, things are gonna come after you, but it won't cause you to stumble. You're gonna stay uh focused. He'll keep you in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him and trust in him. Glory to God. Uh, and it says uh, in 166, Lord, I hope for your salvation and I do your commandments. So these are the things he's saying he's hoping and he's doing. So he has that, Lord, I hope for your salvation. And that sends us to Genesis uh, 49, 18. Genesis 49, 18. That says, I have waited for your salvation, O Lord. I have waited for your salvation. So when we wait, it's like we're hoping. When we're hoping, we're waiting. All right? And that's just our expectation. Lord, uh, I hope I'll wait for your salvation. And as I'm waiting for you to save me, I'm going to do your commandments. I'm Because... Uh, the commandments of God is as God's person and his nature. And so and you're going to do that. The commandments of God. Remember, the commandments is the structure. And then the law is the light. And then here it is. It's saying that, um, and I do your commandments. It's 167. Uh, my soul keeps your testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. 
My soul keeps your testimonies. And I love them exceedingly. You're going to love what God represents. God himself is his own testimony. And you're going to, you're going to love God's testimony. You're going to love everything about God. You're going to love his laws. You're going to love his statutes. You're going to love his precepts. You're going to love his commandments. You're going to love his judgments. You're going to love his word. And then 168, I keep your precepts in your testimony. He's keeping both of them. You know, the responsibilities that we have toward God, those are the precepts. So he's keeping those and then God's testimonies. God's testifying of himself. He's his own testimony. And then he said, for all my ways are before you. All my ways are before you. And that says that we're going to go look over a little bit. But let me uh, go to Proverbs 5.21. And it says, for the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord. And he ponders all his paths or he weighs all his paths. So for the ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord. The Lord sees all our ways. It's before him. Before his eyes. And what? And God ponders all his path. Whatever, you know, wherever we going, he's pondering that. So in here, going back to Psalm 119, says, I keep your precepts and your testimonies for all my ways are before you. He knows God is watching. And he know he's all his ways are before God. Wow. All his ways are before God. And so that's the uh, ends on the 21st letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And uh, I think I got a little Emmy to go ahead and close it out. And I'll see. And um, But until then, uh, keep the faith. Keep the focus. Just know I love you. And may God bless you.